for what's happening. Now let's go across to a very, very special guest. I always look forward to this interaction. Mr. Shantanu Gosla, Managing Director of Compton Greaves Consumer Limited is with us. So firstly, thank you so much for taking out time for us. Uh, you know, before we go on to numbers, I just wanted your perspective. You know, you've been a part of PNG. You've been a part of, uh, you know, this interesting business of Compton Greaves Consumer. Uh, say if there is a hyperinflation which comes back, what happens to these discretionary spends like AC, fan, coolers, things which can be postponed. What happens over there? Because this is a kind of inflation that probably people have not seen earlier. Well, uh, for us it's quite clear. You have to focus on uh, three things and we've been doing that. Number one is you have to really ruthlessly attack cost. You have to minimize uh, your cost as commodity goes up. Even things like we have done, for example, over the last quarter is uh, we have in advance booked certain contracts at certain prices for various commodities. This quarter, for example, our cost saving program saved about 48 crores. The second thing, and we've been following this or driving it quite a lot, is you have to work to keep driving your mix so it becomes more and more premium. And that's been an ongoing focus of ours. So, for example, this quarter, our uh, fans, our uh, premium fans, were at about 45%. The third is, of course, you have to recover in price. Now, when you take price in such an inflationary environment, we believe it's important to quickly recover your structural profitability at a gross margin level. There will be initially, obviously, some price elasticity, but as the pricing settles down, the volume growths keep coming. Interestingly, what we have seen uh, seen in spite of pricing at the more premium end of the market, strong volume growth. Though we've got value growth at uh, the lower end of the market, the volumes are relatively more. gross margins and structural profitability is critical because it enables you to continue investing in the future as the hyperinflation settles down. Right, sir. So that's an interesting answer as to what uh, various companies should do. Now, can you talk about the festive demand? What we are hearing from various e-tailers, various uh, marketplaces is that most of the products are not available. Uh, do you think there is still a supply side issue or genuinely uh, the consumer is back in Diwali after really a long time? For us, it's uh, not that significant. And one of the reasons is uh, most of our categories are not festive demand driven. We don't have really a big season during the festive demand. For some of our smaller businesses, such as small appliances, there is, an, is a, a festive demand factor. But for most of our business, the seasonality, if at all, is more uh, weather driven. Summer is a big season for us. So while we are seeing and have been seeing very strong growth in the e-commerce channel as our investments and in capability ramp up, uh, we are not facing significant supply issues. One of the things which we did, which I believe is helping us during this period, is uh, in the beginning of the quarter and even to some extent last quarter, we uh, invested in building up our inventory, partly learning from uh, last year's experience where there were supply chain disruptions. And that has helped us, uh, if you will, weather the small challenges we may have had. Right. Uh, Mr. Khosla, good afternoon. This is Cheryl also joining in, uh, the, con uh, in the conversation. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's exactly happening in the air conditioning markets. Uh, you know, you have the other companies like how will say that there's aggressive competition in the air conditioning market. Is this the same that you're witnessing in your products as well? Well, uh, obviously we are not, we do not play in air conditioners, but uh, Competition is active and competition has been active for a while in, in all our categories. The good thing which we are seeing because of the competition is uh, it is driving significant more innovation, 
new product ideas, etc., which at the end of the day is good for the consumer. And we are seeing that reflect in, for example, in our case, in overall market share growth, where uh, on fans, for example, in the retail audit, uh, we've grown close to two points of share in our latest across all our categories we're continuing to invest behind them and that actually is helping us uh, gain share in spite of uh, you know number of new players continuously coming into the marketplace right uh, that's that's what it is you know essentially when you have competition it actually helps you uh, innovate much faster and you know deliver new products to consumers as well. Uh, let's talk about, uh, we did speak about inflation at the start of this uh, interview. Uh, I wanted to know how much of a pressure will uh, you have on your margins front as well if uh, this sort of uh, inflation continues. Do you think it's a major concern going ahead? And uh, like I mentioned, more pressure on margins in uh, the quarters ahead? The good thing is that Till now, especially when I look versus other players in our industry, we've done a better job in uh, recovery of our margins. And in fact, our gross margins came back reasonably last quarter itself and have continued. And as the volumes have come back in post uh, the COVID lockdowns, this gross margin stability and recovery has played out all into or PVT or PAT, whichever you wish to look at. Uh, so the three elements which I talked about, premiumization, driving cost out of the system, and finally passing on the price increase where you have to, have all helped us maintain. Now, the future is obviously always uncertain, and uh, we don't know what is the trend likely to be though it appears that commodity has uh, eased off a little bit but um, you never know and but our strategic approach on these three levers we believe will uh, continue to pay dividends and uh, we feel reasonably confident that this margin recovery we can maintain Right. So there is one differentiating factor with every big company, whether it's you, whether it's Harvest, whether it's any other company that has a great history, that, you know, in terms of downside, they protect their market share, they protect their margin. So you've answered the market uh, uh, margin bit. Can you just talk to us about new product innovation? How will you protect market share? Because as you said, competition is pretty high. E-commerce channels are high. People are taking less time to gain market share, what they would have taken earlier because of the distribution. So how does a company like you, which has a substantial history, substantial size, will protect market share? going ahead uh, if there is, uh, uh, you know, the spent up demand comes down and the market suddenly slows down for a bit. Well, uh, and introduce uh, meaningful new items, which we continue to do. In fact, for us, uh, one of the key measures we look at is the percentage of our revenue, which comes from new products introduced in the last 12 months. And that percentage has been continuously increasing year on year. The second is you have to keep investing in innovation. And that's where the strength of our balance sheet helps. Because through this entire COVID period and second COVID wave, we have continued to make those investments. For example, uh, this month itself, we've, we're opening up a new R&D center in uh, Mumbai which will have uh, ultimately about uh, close to about 100 people manning it, which will keep driving the innovation current, midterm and long term. So it's uh, invest and keep investing in innovation ultimately is the answer. And if we can keep doing that, I believe um, Right, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for taking out time for us. Always good to get perspective uh, from you. That was, of course, the management at Compton and Greaves. Uh, uh, once in six months, they interact with us, sir. I would request you to increase the interaction, especially at the time when, uh, you know, uh, inventory data is uh, coming out daily, changes are going on. But thank you so much, sir, for taking out time for us.
On that note, completely out of time, taking a break. Stay tuned. Markets looking flattish with a positive bias, but the mid cap index is on the weaker side.